If you're trying to add box highlight subtitles to your YouTube videos like these, then I'm gonna show you step-by-step step one of the easiest ways to get it done. Let's get into the content. All right, so the way that we're gonna be doing this is we're gonna be using a tool called Descript. So Descript is an AI video editor that can take care of anything that you need done when it comes to video editing. They really make their uh, software very easy to use. All right, so check it out. So this is what it's gonna look like when you get inside of Descript. As you can see, I've edited tons of videos and side of this particular software so you could tell I use it quite a bit all right so what you want to do first is you want to come right here to where it says new project because what we need to do is we need to upload your video clip inside of this software so once this screen right here pops up you then want to come right here to where it say choose a file to transcribe and you want to click on that once your file explorer comes up like this you then go to that video file you then click on it double click on it so that it can start loading into this uh, software it's going to prompt you two times this is the first prompt set transcription language so if you're not speaking English then you can go ahead and set whatever language you want to set and then you go ahead and choose it but for sake of this video I'm only going to use English so I'm gonna go ahead and hit transcribe it's gonna prompt you again the second one is just letting you know hey it started the process and then all you got to do is just hit done all right so give it a few seconds to populate everything that I'm saying inside of this video clip and then we're gonna progress throughout the rest of this video all right, so as you can see, it populated everything that I said in this particular video in the same time. I'm just gonna get rid of the mistake that I made in this particular video clip. So I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna then highlight all of that because I know it's a mess up and then I'm gonna hit delete. All right, so you can see it not only deleted the text, but it also deleted the video clip, like the video part of it, right? So it's just like using like a Microsoft Word file and if you hit delete, it's gone. It's the same concept. That's what makes Descript so cool. Once you got all that taken care of, you got rid of your mistakes or whatever now what you want to do is you want to come right here and you want to click on the T and then you want to click right here to where it says caption so I'm gonna click on that all right so now as you can see it pulled a box up so I'm gonna click on this box I'm gonna bring this box to where I want it I'm then gonna set this to zero because sometimes it saves like settings from other uh, projects and so that's why it was way up there all right so now I'm gonna click in that box and when I click in it it allows me to edit the settings for it that goes for every section that you click on all right so now that I'm in the settings right here it says text and then this allows you to look at the different fonts right so if you want a specific one or you want to upload your own all you got to do is click right here and look through the fonts that they have if you don't like them then just come over here click this add fonts to the drive and you're gonna be good to go with whatever font that you want all right so I'm just gonna roll with a custom one that I use a lot I'm gonna have to move myself out of the way to see it but there it is right there the bold font okay and it's downloading the font right now and then give it a few seconds and it's gonna populate. All right, so we good right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move me back over real quick. Okay, so the next thing is the size of the font. So let's say I don't want 75 and I want my font to be like, let's just go with 100 for now. And by the way, you don't see it on the screen yet because the video itself is not playing. You're gonna see like when I kind of skip ahead a little bit. All right, so now the next thing is this little button right here. So you got the standard case and then you got the uppercase. So let's say you got most of your transcript is like lowercase and you want everything to be uppercase at least like within the first portion of your video or whatever then all you got to do is just literally click this button right here and it's going to uppercase everything or if you just want standard case which is basically how it comes in there then you can set the setting for that all right so i'm gonna just leave it how it is because i'm using bold font anyway and bold font automatically uppercases everything anyway all right so from here what i'm gonna do is i'm then gonna click right here on the style i'm gonna click on custom and then what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna turn this I'm gonna turn this off just so I can show you how you would go into it because like I said it saves your settings from time to time and so sometimes it's already there all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move me over here and then now we're gonna get into these settings now I'm gonna skip it ahead a little bit so I'm gonna click right here in between your and trying all right so you see how it pops up on the screen right so it's some settings that's already on it but I'm gonna remove them so you can see what's going on so I'm gonna click into the text I'm then gonna click right here on classic and then I'm gonna adjust like this active word thing that's going on already all right so from here I will click on this plus 
And then if I wanted to kind of see this little block that it created, okay, so you can see I got the block around my text. Now you want to keep paying attention, right? That's not the end of this process because you want to be able to make it pop even more than just having those boxes around it. Okay, so from here, I click on the text again, I click on custom, and then let's say I don't want this background on it. Let's say I want like a blue background or I want a green background. And obviously this is how I would be able to change it. Now from here, I could then put a border border around it. Now, I obviously already got the border, but I'm going to go ahead and hit the minus just so you can see what it looks like without a border, right? It doesn't really pop like that. So I will put that plus and then I could adjust the border even more, right? Let's say I want it to be thicker. I can go with 15 or I can go with 20, but obviously that look a little bit too crazy. So I might just keep it on 10. And then from here, if I want to add a background, like put like some black background or whatever color background, I can go ahead and hit the plus here. And then you can see this background is showing up. Um, and I can adjust the color to, you know, whatever color I want it to be. Okay. So now in this case, I don't want to use a background. I typically don't use it unless like my shirt color is the same color as the text that I'm using. Then I might use it. Okay. It just really depends on the situation. So we're going to keep this green here. And then another thing that we can do is I'm going to turn this off and then we're going to go back into it. So it says effects. I'm going to hit this plus. I'm then going to click on shadow. And then you can see it kind of automatically added that shadow. Now I can adjust the settings for that shadow let's say I don't want the blur to be too much. I might bring it down to 10. You can see how it look a little bit different. And then let's say I want a bunch of blur, then I can add a little bit more blur to it. I can also adjust like the X and the Y. So like, let's say for instance, I want to go ahead and make this 16. And then I want to go ahead and make the X like 10 or something like that. It's just messing with the shadow itself to make it look a certain way. Now in this case, I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this button to turn it off. And that's how simple it is to to create box highlight subtitles. Now, in order for you to save this and then be able to, you know, upload it to your YouTube channel, what you will want to do is you will come right up here to where it says file. You then will want to click on composition hit export. And then once you hit export over here, you can see you got a bunch of options in which you can export. You can do video, audio, GIF, timeline, all of those different things. Now from here, you will make sure your resolution is whatever you want it to be, 1080p, 1440, whatever it is. And then you can have it on high quality like I have it. And then you will go ahead and hit export. And then you will go ahead and save your file to however you want to save it. And you're going to be good to go.